Hello the Darkness 344 here, today I'm going to be showing you this display drive, but you may have already seen the video. What I'm really showing you is this. So this is, I've been working on this in a bit of my time, spare time, but this is a binary to BCD, which is binary coded decimal converter. You can use it to power my binary coded decimal display. <laughs> Fun. Right, so this design on here is Benny's Cube design. Like he made a tutorial like about seven years ago on Java edition. And so I've just been making them as you can see. Like this one's his design. So they can pretty much do zero to 127 for this one. This size is yeah. Not as big as a proper ROM display drive with this. So I have actually come up with my own design. This is, was my first design, which kind of, eh. This is the second design that I made, which was much better, and I've used it for here. And this is my own design right here, and it works fairly well. Pretty much the same thing in general. So I will show you how this works, if I can get over there. So. This is great for calculators and computers which need a sound segment display drive. Like you could even expand this if you wanted to like add more segments to it and just make that a bit bigger. So much better than a ROM display drive because a ROM one you'd actually say this is the size for a up to 0 to 99, right? Around this big. Say you wanted to do 0, 19, 0 to 99 but doing it ROM, you'd have to eat program out each individual number so that would be like this times five or some I don't know because this is like yeah it'd just be a lot bigger so I will leave this map up to download again so have fun so pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna input a binary number uh, it can be like up to 127 and yeah basically if you're building a calculator it'll straight out feed it right into this line or you could even feed into the pretty much because you'll pretty much just copy this design roughly and or you could even improve it there's probably some improvements that you could make that I've missed but yeah so so let's do the this number 16 plus 8 was that that's uh, 24 so it takes a bit of time but yeah as you can see it comes up with 24 so pretty much what happens it goes blah 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 so the binary goes into the binary code of decimal converter and this uses the double da double dabble method. I can't even say that right. But pretty much if the number is greater than four, it'll add three to it. And then it'll shift it left, shift the binary, the output left a bit. I'm pointing at the carry line, not the shifter. <laughs> it'll shift it left. There we go, much better. Stupid carry line. Right, so if the number's greater than if the number's greater than four, it'll add three to it, which is this bit. This bit adds three to it. I'll show you in depth in a minute. So it'll just add three to it, so it'll become, yeah, greater than four. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. You know what? Never mind. I'm re I really can't do it today. But yeah, it just works. Don't exactly know the super technical side, but it just works, and it comes out here, and I've plugged it right into this display drive, and pretty cool, and it works. Let's do a number number just to show it's working say uh but 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 so that's 32 plus 6 that's 38 should come up with 38 oh well no way uh, let's do 99 what'd that be that'd be 64 uh plus 32 plus i'm not doing this what is that 96 uh 7 8 9 7 8 9 yeah 99, Ta -da. and if you add a bit more to it, it won't work, because guess what, it can only know up to 99, see, and it just displays some random number, 0, 3, it's probably 103, but, yeah, technically this can do up to 127, this one, but, yeah, the display goes only up to 99, because this is what I'm going to have on my calculator when I build it, so, let's turn it all off, and I will show you how it works. So yeah, if you like this video, or like this map or whatever that I'm going to be releasing, please consider liking and subscribing, haha. 
because yeah don't exactly know why but we'll just do it because yeah so pretty much let's start off here yeah so goes into the adder and also goes down here so this is the one column this is the pretend pretend this is the ones this is the twos this is the fours and this is the eights I did do that right didn't I uh, yeah, sure. So pretty much will happen. This goes into an AND gate over here. So the 1 will go into an AND gate and the 2 will also go into an AND gate as you can see. Because, and then the other side would be the 4, which is here. So if 4 and 1 are added together, that's 5. So it'll to toggle both the things so because 4 and 1 is 5 which is greater than 4 so we should toggle it if 4 and 2 which is 6 that's greater than 4 so it'll toggle it as well if it's 4 plus 1 and 2 which is uh, 7 it'll also toggle it and if it's 8 which this is 8 and it goes into both sides because 8 will always always be greater than than four, so it goes to both sides as you can see. So one there, one in there, and then it pretty much when if it does turn off, it will turn off this line, which will go around here, be knotted by this knot gate over here, just because you need that. I don't know why there's a block of stone there. Weird, and it goes extremely weird, huh? mysterious. I'll break it because it's fine. And it goes up into this bit which is this redstone here which adds three to it because this is that's one that's one that's two and that's two that's four that's four so since that's one and that's one and that's two and that's two one it'll toggle one and two and one and two is three so it toggles the three as well because this is these adders are input a and input b things and you only really need input a but you also have the input a and B over here to add the three, and then once all of it's added and it carries across and blah blah blah, it goes into this, which is a left shifter, which pretty much takes the number out, here's the output, and shifts it across by one bit, as you can see. So it goes. So instead of being go straight into the one again, this output will be shifted across and go into the two segment, which is pretty cool. And then it just repeats it again as, as many times as you need. And then it outputs it here, as in as BCD. So I've cheated a bit and instead of inputting the one, I've just gone right round like this and put the one here. Because you don't you can just shift it left one. And I've also, just to save a bit of space, just because it's cheaty, then you can also put the 16 here, the 32 here, and the 64 here, which is even more cheaty because you really shouldn't be putting them there. You should just add a bit more and add them in these bits as you can see like this but it just works so that's what I've done because it saves space and I don't really want to build anymore because guess what I'm in bedrock edition and it's really hard because there's no world edit so you either have to build it by hand or use the slash clone commands which are really hard that was a slash foot command oh well. but they're quite hard to do so the outputs of this will be 2, 4, 8, and what have I done? No, 1, 2, 4, 8 on the first 4 bits, the first nibble, you could almost say. The second will be 10, 20, 40, 80, and the third will be 100, 200, 400, 800. But it's not used because this display is only up to 99. So, the reason why BCD is so much better is because it means you could do each display. 1 to 9 or 0 to 9 and it's just easy because you could just use the 0 to 9 binary and pretend since this is 10 20 40 80 you don't even need to use a you don't even need to make it go to 1 1 2 4 8 because it's already you just add another zero see so this is the one column this is the 10 columns the 10 columns can just link up right to this because it's already done the times it by 10. That kind of doesn't make sense, but it just it just does it, so. 
I will leave this world for download because you guys may want to copy this. So if you do copy it, please, please, please uh, send links to my YouTube channel, maybe even this world download because that would be cool. So the display drives my own design and the actual BCD converter binary to BCD is by a guy called Benny's Cube, he's very smart. But as I said earlier, I have made my own design which is somewhere this way, which is here. So please, yeah, leave credit because that would be nice. And yeah, I am out.